السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل تور آف اسپین دس از انادر ڈسکشن اباؤٹ اپلائڈ لنگوسٹکس یو نو اپلائڈ لنگوسٹکس از کنسرن ود دا پریکٹیکل اپروچز اینڈ انڈر دس ہیڈنگ وی ڈسکس سائیکو لنگوسٹک سوشو لنگوسٹکس and the rest of the branches of linguistics. In the same way, uh, theories of language learning, various techniques or strategies of learning, that is uh, grammar translation method, direct method, audio lingual method, and communicative language teaching. So this lecture or this discussion is about language learning or language teaching however uh, there would be a request that with this lecture you should also refer to my other lectures and they are linguistics and introduction language and linguistics and introduction language learning and practical approaches and particularly the beginning of English literary study in colonized India. These lectures, they are available on this channel that is Thor of Spin and you can refer to them. Now we will come to the language learning methods in this particular discussion. And as I told you that there are uh, various methods of learning, language learning, uh, that is audio lingual method, direct method and grammar translation method. This discussion is focused on grammar translation method or GTM. So let's have various approaches towards this language learning technique or language learning method. So first of all, uh, a few words about applied linguistics. Applied linguistics is the branch of linguistics which is concerned with practical applications of language studies or language learning. Similarly, applied linguistics refers to activities which involve solving some language related problems or addressing some language related concerns. Um, we can also say that applied linguistics is an interdisciplinary field of inquiry that addresses a broad range of language related issues. Now as in the beginning I told you that uh, there are three or four language learning methods. There are certain language learning methods and prominent among them are grammar translation method, the direct method, the audio lingual method and community language learning. So grammar translation method, this is a method or a classical approach which is used or which was used for teaching of the classical languages like Latin and Greek. Since at that time Greek and Latin, they were considered as foreign languages in England. That's why grammar translation method was adopted for language learning. This method enables the learners to read and appreciate foreign language literature or foreign language fiction and non-fiction write-ups. 
The main focus is always on the learning of the grammar, our rules and regulations, and vocabulary are the lexical items of a foreign language. Foreign language learning, it helps the learners and the students to uh, improve or to grow or to uh, have a flourishment for their uh, intellectual growth. So foreign language learning helps students for intellectual growth and encouragement. Grammar translation method consists of the following activities or the following factors can be considered when we want to teach or to learn a language through grammar translation method. The first one is explanation of a grammar rule. So the grammar rule are the target language and its grammar it is always considered during this methods and this explanation is based on practical sentences or examples. The next point is vocabulary learning and vocabulary is presented in the form of a bilingual list that is uh, as far as vocabulary learning is concerned so there are three methods to learn uh, a word that is uh, repetition, translation and imagination. However, during this method we will have to focus on the translation in the mother tongue or in first language and the words of the second language they are translated into a, la a language one or the mother tongue. The instruction is directed in the student's first language. Students are forced to read word by word. The focus is not on the sense but on the translation of the words. Not sense mean not overall sense but the words and their meanings whether they are figurative meanings or contextual meaning or symbolic meaning. The selected text introduces certain rules and those rules which are relevant with the grammar. However, grammar translation method fails to provide a great deal of comprehensible input. This is a criticism or this method or this is the weak point of learning a language through grammar translation method. The model sentences the readings and exercises are rarely supplemented in the target language. In the same way, grammar translation method violates nearly every component of the input. The method put the students on the defensive and students are expected to be able to produce immediately and are expected to be fully accurate in the first language as well as in the target language or in the foreign language. This method can create anxiety among the students who are less inclined towards the grammar and vocabulary of a foreign language. And again this is a criticism about this method of teaching a language or learning a language. Grammar translation makes no attempt explicitly or implicitly to help students manage. It means this method, it ignores two very important skills or factors of a foreign language that is listening and speaking. And this method doesn't encourage the spoken language as well as the listening in a foreign language. Grammar translation implicitly assumes that conscious control of grammar is necessary. Again, there is a rule for the grammar of the mother tongue as well as the foreign language and they are not of the same structure. If they are not of the same structure, then the learners, they face problems while uh, using this method for language.
Grammar translation method provides students mental exercise which develops their mental capacity. And in the same way, literary language is superior to spoken language and study of the target culture is limited to its literature and fine arts. It means that through grammar translation method, the main focus is vocabulary and grammar. However, the fine arts of the foreign language, the culture and literature, they are not the focus during this method. Anyhow, this was a brief discussion about applied linguistics and then with special reference to grammar translation method. In the following lectures, in the coming lectures, we will have to focus on the direct method, the audio lingual methods and the theories of language learning. Thank you very much for your kind attention.